Midwestern dreams. Midwestern dreams come true. <laughs> Midwestern day dreams come true. <laughs> um, we'll get more into your childhood in a minute, but let's get back to the divas, okay? Uh, the divas, 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 divas. Um, Gwen, uh, she's having a resurgence. She had recorded a whole album yep. prior to the one that she was working on with you, and yeah. she scratched it. Scratched that shit. And so you came to the studio with her, and she was like, I, I don't want to, if I'm not telling the truth, we can just leave. Yeah. She was like, listen, I've had an amazing career. I'm so grateful for everything I've done. I don't give a fuck about hits anymore. I don't give, I don't care about radio. I don't care about any of it. Right. I... There's some, sh she went, didn't tell us right away, but you know, there's some shit happening in my life and I need to talk about it. Mm. And you know, my gift has always been like, just to say exactly what's happening and hope in my life and hope that that helps other people. So right. that's what I'm gonna do. And if you guys are here to like try and write a hit and like have a big number one and not tell the truth, then you can just leave. Wow. And cause no doubt I was obsessed with. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, as we already discussed, her solo albums I was obsessed with. So I was like, whatever the fuck you want to <laughs> yeah. do, I want to do. And also, Don't Speak couldn't be more, like, confessional and honest. So I was like, if we can do that again, that would, you know, I'm, I'm all for that. Um, so yeah, so then we just started, we did one session, and one session turned into 10 sessions, and one 10 sessions turned into 30, and then I somehow got to work on every single song with her, which every is- Every single song on the album, my Even God, Even like the is... Japanese bonus track. The Japanese bonus track. Thank you, Gwen. Adam, you hear Thank that? You, the Gwen. Japanese bonus track. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah. uh, so that is fun, and like it must be exciting to be a fan of someone, and then it's already fun to work with them. But then do you get to be in the studio and they start to cut the record. Yeah, most of the time you're there when they, if you, especially if you write the song with them. Right. You just they just cut the song the song that night, uh -huh. um, and so you're just there while you cut it. And I love you know obviously like women's voices is like my favorite thing in the world. Yeah. So I love to be there and listen and and coach and cheer and. Um, it's so, so fucking cool. And you're like, wait a second, yo, Gwen Stefani, oh, no. you sound like I, Gwen Stefani! <laughs> you know, and that voice especially, because when that, that thing sounds like nobody else on the planet. Yeah. And so it's, because she is so sweet and so real, and that's not me, like, bullshitting because someone's filming. That's, like, very, very <laughs> yeah. true. Like, like, she's become an actual, like, very real friend. And so, like, you forget that it's Gwen because she's so nice and she's so cool and we're sitting on the floor eating right. like, you know, black beans together. I don't of course. Know. And then she gets on the mic and you're like, oh, oh, that's, that's you're hey, like, Gwen. oh, listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really, it's like really trippy. Mm. It's really, and my mom got to meet her. And really? And she freaked out. And she was like, wait, you're that lady from those records that he played as a child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's how your mom talks. Really, Justin's mama. No, she probably said "cunt" like twelve times. Oh, really? Yeah. I like your mom's yeah. style. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> she's she's no joke. Um. <laughs>